Hi guys, School here, taking a look at a new map mod, or, well, possibly not new, I think it's on version 4.5 or something, I can't remember, 4.7, Romanian map it's called. Uh, you get basically three files with it and you have to turn them all on, although I don't know if you do actually have to turn them all on, because one of them you can see here is a winter mod and the other one's a traffic mod, I'm guessing you need the traffic mod. The main mods uh, up in my list here, I renamed them, they, they come as ZZZ. Uh, traffic for Har to remain I and then ZZZ winter mod for Har to remain I and ZZZ uh, Romania or something you've got to turn them all on obviously it's put Z's in front of them to push them down to the bottom of the list I've put MM ROM on there so that I know that these things are all related uh, anyway you just enable all three and then whatever other mods you want so obviously making sure you don't conflict so, you know I can't turn on winter mod and have that one on for example uh, put in your name Roman squirrel of course you do have to start a new profile. When you tick that, you, this changes here so that you choose Romanian instead of the standard Europe, I think it is. That will actually play it into a different module. And you need to do that. The funniest thing about this has got to be this. Look at you, you, you change these lists. There's some hilarious things here. Obviously, it changes the, the look of your... <laughs> changes the look of, um, of your character. You'll recognize some of these faces when you start flicking through. Recognize that one? Yeah, what about that one? Some well-known actors in here. You've got Brad Pitt down there. Uh, one of the funnier ones I saw was, uh, here it is at the bottom, look. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon's in here. So, you could be some real... <laughs> I've got to be him. That just looks like a an evil bugger, doesn't he, eh? Uh, they don't appear to change this very much. There is this new one here, but I'm just going to go Scania. And then we've got... Uh, what of the heck these are for company logos? Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go with that one. And that's pretty much it. And as soon as we click Create, it will reset defaults, which means the music will suddenly ramp up. Like that. I'm going to skip the wizard. Ooh. Ooh. Select a home city. Okay, so basically Romania. Ooh, Transylvania. Transylvania. Thanks for the memories. Oh god, that's so loud. I need to get out of here. Why? Why, SCS, do you do this to us? Arad. Brad. Oh, I want to go to Transylvania, I think. I gotta go here. No, nope, no one's tutorial. Oh, good grief. I do apologise for this on SCS's behalf. Whoa, pretty. Very pretty. I do like Winter Mod anyway, but this looks especially nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do it, people. Where are we? Oh, we're in a Scania. A very beige trim Scania, I'll grant you, but it's a Scania. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I am going to go and copy some files. Um, my control file's over. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I am back. So, what I basically did... What is that? Did I just hear a cop car? Okay, that was weird. What I basically just did was went to my Eurotruck Simulator 2 slash profile folder and in there, because I just created a profile, in there the most recent profile would be this one. So I opened up that in Explorer and then opened up a previous one in Explorer and I copied over the controls and config.ssi sorry, controls.sii and config.sii I did not copy over profile.sii, very important. So control and config. What that's done is basically bring in all my controls. So I've got my Logitech wheel all here, nicely mapped. And in gameplay, I've got all the settings, sound levels, fuel consumption settings, everything's all been ported over. So I don't need to reset that up. I think it even does your graphics settings. Like a dodgy photo. So that's the quick and easy way of copying over your config so that you don't have to reset everything up again. Just look at this truck, it's actually got um, chains on it. Wow, top of the line, Scania R730 chained up wheels. 
Nice. There's that cop car again. I think I better get a move on. Okay, so. It's just giving us a very short run just to... Let's put it in even gears. Of course, it starts you off. Wow, what is that mirror in front of us? What? Why have I got a floating mirror? <laughs> what the hell is that? Shouldn't that be over there somewhere? Ooh, I wonder if this truck's bugged. I wonder if it's conflicting with the mod that I've got. Give me one second, I shall be right back. I want to check and disable a mod. And we're back. My apologies. Mirror's now in the right place. I know exactly what that was. That was a mod conflict. As I was about to say, it, it sits you in your brand new truck with the handbrake off. So immediately I put the handbrake, turn it off, and it actually puts the handbrake on. Anyway, camera fix. Let's get out of here. Oh, look at that. Is that a Huey? Helicopter going past. I've got a number of Jazzy Cat mods installed. Uh, as ever, I will link the mods in the video description. I wonder how slippy the floor is. Not that I want to find out the hard way. So anyway, this is a new map mod for me to look at. Um, it has been out a little while, a few months I think. Probably more actually, but it seems to have got to a point now where it's definitely worth taking a look at it. As you can see from the map, he's got a uh, quite a number of cities uh, done for Romania. I don't know what the quality is like. Uh, we're going to have to basically adventure around and have a look. I may even stream this uh, to, as a way of, of having a look around. It does, of course, as ever, the downside with all these things, just like the Hungry map is, the massive downside is that you've got to start a brand new profile. Wow. That's not a normal car. I'm pretty certain that's not a normal car. I need to scratch it. <laughs> Nor is that a normal vehicle. I don't know if that came in with the Jazzy Cat mod or whether that's come with this mod. I am not entirely sure. Um, this thing doesn't come with a README. Um, the link that I will put in the video description takes you to a site that explains roughly what's in it. But the actual mod doesn't have a README, so there's no detail about you know what he's done, what it changes. Hello. Hello. Hello? Complicated reverse? Oh my life! Oh yes. Hang on a second. This looks good. Now then, which is the best way of reversing in here? I think we're going to have to basically turn the truck around and do a blindside reverse because I can't go that way. Okay. Alright. I'm impressed already. <laughs> I could really do with somebody to watch out for people jumping back in cars, but you know, and moving while I'm trying to reverse, but uh, hey ho. I'm going to reverse in a straight line. And straight being not bent. Like that. And then I'm going to pull forward to the left and then uh, reverse it in. Oh no, I'm not I'm not skipping parking. Good grief. Where would the fun in that be? This is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna go right down here. Straighten her up. Now oh, then let's just have a quick look where we are. Wow, we are way over from where I thought we would be. Well, if you want a challenge... <laughs> this is a challenge. Right, so I need to be more down this end, basically. This is a tricky reverse, even for me, and I've done this quite a bit. Very, very interesting. This was totally unexpected. I did not expect this delivery point. 
Imagine you just started playing this game for the first time. <laughs> and this is your very first delivery. You're like, whoa, screw that. You've got to be kidding me. I'm trying not to go over a curb, that's the thing. That's not going to work. Not at all. Well, what can you say about this? There we go. Now we've got it lined up. Now I'm just going to watch the inside line over there in the mirror. It's going to take your time with this thing. Oh, I hate that. Pops up like as if you've hit bloody a vehicle or something. I can't quite see what the clearance is. Yeah, we need to go forward a bit. We're about to hit the wall. We're going to have to use these car park spaces, I'm afraid. Wow. Instant challenge. It's good, though. I like it. I wonder how many more um, delivery points are like this. Whoa, straighten up, straighten up. They can't all be like this. But wow, is this fun. Not for the faint-hearted, guys. <laughs> that should trigger now. There we go. Crikey. Look at that for a delivery point. Hilarious. Made more difficult by all the cars around. You should get a bonus for that. Sugar delivered from Napokja to Napokja. Well, it got us a bit of a level, didn't it? So now, unfortunately, they're going to take the, the truck away from us and give us a scrubber yard. This is your headquarters. It doesn't have any heating or electric. Enjoy. Can we sell the DHL van outside? It's pretty basic. It's not much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, we haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move the world and freely run your own business from here. Good luck. Yeah, so I can't actually... Let's have a look at the world map again. So I've based myself here because there are a cluster of things nearby. So my, my hope was that when I get my own truck, I'll be able to take more jobs. Um, but we can take any of these. They've all got snow tyres on. It's kind of cool. What's the one that pays the most? Not go off route length. Let's go off price. What does that pay? What the heck is that symbol? I think... Oops. That may be a settings thing. Options. Um, gameplay, is it? Where you set your currency. Uh, there we go. Displayed currency check. <laughs> Let's not have check. Let's try and go G G G B P. I can't even say it. See if that displays any better. No, that's giving me a question mark on the money. You see it? I've seen that before. Uh, I think Euro sometimes works. Yeah, Euro works. Because obviously it's developed by a European country mod author, and he doesn't. For some reason, they don't check the G B P properly. So quick job. Let's fix that. Yeah, that's better. 6,000 euros. That, that's more like it. So there, again, there's another little tweak for you. Uh, so the most expensive paying job is, in fact, a Renault. Taking gravel. <laughs> a Renault? No, I don't think so. How far is it? 200 kilometers. Linda pressure tanks. In a majestic low-roof sleeper. Or... For five and a half, we can take the Scania logs. Or for five, four, we can take three kilometers less. Where's that coming out of, actually? It's coming out of IKEA to OBI. It's going to UMass Gas Transport. Again, if you're wondering why I've got these logos, they're Jazzy Cat mods. They will be linked in the video description. Obviously, the, mo the mods I'm using are a link, and they're obviously compatible with this Romanian map mod, which is good news. Um, I think we'll take... 
we'll take the uh, the the Volvo FH Classic logs. We'll do that. Maybe get some nice look at the scenery. Ooh, it's very pretty with the with the snow. It seems to work quite well as well. However, I'm not seeing any um, sat nav route, which leads me to believe there's a bug. I'm going to have to go man mode and have a look at the map. The travesty of it. The travesty. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> What's he hauling? Right, where are we going? Uh, destination is Salonta. So we're going to go left. Head all the way to the end of the road. So it's left, right, left. Left, right. Left, left. And then we'll have a look at the map again. Okay. Uh, have we got an oversized load? Mm, no, I don't believe we have. Doesn't look oversized, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the lights on, though. Um, because it is winter for a kickoff. And I, I kind of hold the view a bit like the Scandinavian countries that um, all trucks like this should definitely have the lights on. I'm not pulling out in front of a motorcyclist. I'm not doing that. Oh, and he's repaid the favour. Thank you, sir. What a nice motorcyclist. Don't know how he's coping, to be honest, on these roads without any chain tyres. There's no way I'd do it. <laughs> and I've, I've done a lot of motorbiking. And I've ridden in snow, and there's no way on compacted ice like this I would take a motorbike out. You definitely want chains on there. And this guy's hardcore. Look at that. In in sleeveless top. Amazing. That's how they're. Uh, that's what Romanians are like, apparently. Balls of steel. Oh, the sat nav's kicked in. Which is kind of nice. I didn't notice what the engine size was of this thing. I'm being overtaken by everybody. What was the weight of this? This was 16 tons of logs. You, just, you have a new mail, apparently. I have new mail. I can feel the traction of the winter mod kicking in, so... I do declare that this is slippy for that reason. I'm fairly confident that you could just run this Romanian map mod without the other stuff on. So you could turn off winter mod if you wanted to. It does, Im it does increase friction a lot when you have the winter mod on. Uh, I don't have realistic physics turned on, by the way, uh, for two reasons. Firstly, because I don't know if it works with the Romanian map mod. And secondly, whenever you run realistic physics with a winter mod, it always seems to go horribly wrong. Uh, the physics just seems, they seem, to, seem to clash with each other to the point where the traction in the tyres doesn't seem to um, be realistic anymore. It kind of goes crazy. Did you see that vehicle just spawn right in front of my eyes? <laughs> well, right in front of your eyes, not in front of my eyes, but... So, I'm back to the same thing as the Hungry mod. I'm going to have to start on level 1. Well, level 0, actually. And get to the point where I can afford a bank loan and then buy a truck. Which is kind of fun. However, I have got a little... I've got something in mind for this, actually. Which I may... Um Yes, it would be a good idea. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's going to be a little surprise. But uh, another little mod that I think might go really well with this. I'm in 12. I'm foot flat on the floor. 80 k's. It won't go any quicker. I think that's down to a lot of the friction. But uh, quite frankly, in this weather, I don't think you should be doing going any faster anyway. Like 50 miles per hour seems pretty pretty much enough for safety reasons. What's irritating is I can't see the statistics of my truck on here. I can't see what the um, engine capacity is. I can have a look at the front, I suppose, but I'm going to round a bend, so I better not. You get details of your trailer, of, your, of what you're hauling, but there's nothing about your truck. Whoa, this is slipping slightly. I'm getting a bit of feedback out the wheel. I don't know what's different. Again, because... You know, I had a lot of information to go off with the Hungry map. Um, 
you, you could instantly see the different style of it, but because there is absolutely no README on the Romanian map, I really don't know what's in it apart from the cities that I can see. I don't know what style he's gone for. Until I start seeing more of the road systems, I don't know if they're different. Um, do you know what I mean? I wish the authors would put more information about their mods inside the file. Because it would help me a great deal. Oh, and the other thing, if you are going to down... Yes, if you are going to download this map um, mod, the file for me came down as a... After it finished, it's about 2 gigabytes. It's quite a big file. It came down as a .com zip, a .com zip. And that confused me. I, I thought, what the heck is this? This a .com zip? Surely it's just a zip. Um, I had a quick Google. There's no such thing as a com zip. Well, I'd never heard of it anyway. Well, I thought to check. And then, whoa, slipping. We're losing. Oh, you can almost hear it slipping. See the back wheel? That definitely lost traction up there. Which makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> um... Yes, in the end, the solution is to rename the .com zip to just a .zip, and then you can open it with your normal WinZip or WinRAR, uh, and then you'll see the three files inside. But that did really confuse me. I should have mentioned that at the start of the video, actually. There's probably a lot of people downloading it going, What the heck is this file? What do I do with it? Is that mad motorcyclist? So yeah, FH-16... Yeah, I don't know what the engine size is. I really don't. Whoa, look at this. Dude's put a tree in the middle of the roundabout. <laughs> what the heck? I like it. I mean, I've never really seen it in real life. I've seen flowers and stuff in the middle of roundabouts. I don't think I've ever seen a massive tree. That is pretty cool. Looks good, though, doesn't it? I, it really, the thing is about a snow map is it just looks crisp and clean and the trees just look awesome. No, it wasn't ready for that. It wasn't ready for 10th. We are definitely... Yeah, if I go full throttle, listen. That's wheel slip. Which is interesting. This is a real challenge, actually. I like what I'm... F I like this game. I like this so far, actually. The combination of some nice slopes. The winter mod. Um, makes driving conditions that much more advanced and the parking bay that I had to reverse into I've seen that parking bay before actually as a separate mod but he's integrated it into his map as a delivery point which is cool um, looks like he's pushed the difficulty level up basically is what I'm saying and I like that because I'm well up for a challenge in this game if I could crank up the realism setting I would and all that traffic just spawned right in front of my eyes <laughs> Can we not have a better spawn distance than that? It's not like I'm lacking the memory or something. You could spawn those things 3-4 kilometers away and I don't think I'd lose any frames. It's just a bit... There's a loss of reality, of suspension of disbelief, I think is what they call it. When all the track just suddenly appears in front of you at a junction. Looks like a BTR behind us, on the trailer that is. I'm thinking vehicles are coming around that bend a little bit unrealistically. Which leads me to the next thing, 1.9. 1.9 guys. When is it going to be out? Your question and mine. Wow, I just so slipped up there. Even with chains on. I had to keep momentum, I was not going to stop at that point. Um, 1.9 is a fantastically massive piece of work by the look of it. Um, the guys at SCS pretty much had it development work finished in quotes round about November. Um, but it wasn't ready to release, there were too many issues. And basically if you think about it, they've spent the best part of two months testing and fixing this. I mean I've seen, I think, you know, I've seen the, the, the reports coming out because I'm on the, on the beta program. And I see the testing that's going through, and they, the guys are working so hard. 
the beta testers and the developers at SCS are working so hard. Um, it must, it must be a massive change, a massive change. But it's going to stand them in good stead, isn't it, for American Truck Simulator? Because they're going to be able to, you know, if they've got this right, and I assume they have, then they're going. To, whoa, wicked car! They're going to be able to just drop this AI engine straight into American Truck Simulator. You know, going forward, we're going to have a much better simulation of AI traffic. Even down to, you know, being able to drive down autobahns and, and the AI will be going at terrific speeds down the autobahns. Um, which is going to be interesting and dangerous at the same time. Because let's face it, when you look in the mirrors at night, you can't see AI cars until they're pretty much here. Um, so if those things, are, if you're going to get AI cars coming at you at like 150 kilometers an hour, it's going to be pretty interesting with changing lane at night, put it that way. I'm just going to sit in the slow lane and cry, I think. But the AI traffic, the, the work they've put into it, the testing the guys have put into it on the, on the testing team, and not just within SCS, but the volunteer testers, they've done so much work that when it comes out, I am looking forward to a transformation of the AI. It must be. It must, you know, a complete rewrite like that is going to... You're going to feel the difference as soon as you start playing, aren't you? And that, you know, I, I really... I thought it would be out mid-January. We're currently mid-January. Um, whoops, I'm in the wrong bit there. So I, I pretty much think that it can't be far away. I think, at a guess, and it is a pure guess because I really, really don't know, I would think we're looking within the next two weeks we should see a release on that. If not a full public release, then um, at least a public beta release. You know, that might come first and maybe they'll do a bit more product testing on it and then release it. Maybe that's how they'll play it, I don't know. Um, but I'm so looking forward to it. Wow, this is... I'm getting snow blind. This, this thing is just whited out beyond belief. Trust me, this is not your screen or my rendering. This is whited out. You need sunglasses. You, you know... Actually, if you remember my profile of my little avatar dude... Well, that was a bit, a bit silly, wasn't it, pal? That's an American truck. What the heck is that doing here? Um, my, my profile avatar dude has uh, sunglasses, so that's quite cool. Because he's going to need them when he's driving around this place. Was that Duisburg I just saw a sign for? To the right? I think it might have been. 44 kilometres and we're not far away. So, let's just recap. This is a 2 gig download. You need to start a new profile. Uh, it comes with some winter mod stuff as well. So you can just turn them all on if you want to. It, I've not tried it with realistic physics, but I don't recommend it. Uh, it is working with all the Jazzy Cat mods quite fine. I think I've even got Awesome Rain 4 turned on, which is the latest Awesome Rain. I'm seeing a lot of detail in the scenery. Definitely, <laughs> two bikers cloned. Not quite the detail that I saw in the Hungary map. That definitely had a different gritty feel to it. It doesn't appear to have gone down that route. It just feels like they've implemented Romania in a, um, a style similar to SCS, but with more detail. But I've not seen the road system yet, so it is possible that they changed the road system. I recommend starting in fourth, by the way. I just started in second, and it's just way too much traction. Even fourth is slipping. I'm on a half throttle right now. I'm trying to get some grip. I don't fancy your chances, pal. Oh, my life. Was that a panzer? Wow. Imagine pulling that in this kind of snow ice. If I put my foot down now, watch. I was getting slipped then. I'm not getting it now. It's treacherous conditions for something like a tank. Um, so yeah, but I've not seen the road system. I need to drive around this map a lot more. I'm going to have to get my own truck, obviously, and then venture out into bigger journeys. Uh, the Hungary map has, has had a minor update, but not on public release yet. However, I have the Hungary map or the Hungary map mod author on Skype now, so whenever he does a release I should know about it and um, hopefully I can then download it and bring it to you guys and let you know what's new in it and, and get it straight from the guy actually. You know, he's told me he's aiming to release roughly every six to eight weeks, um, but he will should be able to tell me what he's released. As for this map... 
Wow, that thing's been following us all the way. Dusseldorf to the left. As for this map, um, I don't know who the author is. Uh, I don't have him on Steam. Maybe if he's watching this, he could actually contact me. Wow, his wheels are just slipping like crazy. At low speeds, just trying to get momentum is very hard. And this is only 16 tons. Oh, there's one of those cop cars. That looks an awful lot like a British police car, actually. That's how they're painted. I'm not sure why I went up here. This seems to be not a, a town. Even when I just put side light, look, if I time it, turn my lights off, it's still completely whited out. I'm just going to put side lights on. I'm getting snow blind. <laughs> There's a fuel station up ahead. I don't believe in refueling somebody else's truck. <laughs> they should provide me with enough fuel. Which they have, to be fair. Yeah, got to get a bank loan, got to get my own truck. Got to build up my little empire again. It's a hell of an investment, isn't it? It's a pity you have to start a new profile. It's just a pity there's no way of bringing your existing profile across, or at least, you know, where you got up to. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure SCS could, could create some kind of export program, couldn't they, where it just... It exported the details of your profile, like, oh, you're on this level, you've got this much money, here's your trucking companies. Um, but I think the, the big problem must be that if you've bought garages in maps that in, in cities on the map that just don't exist in this, then what are you going to do? Which I can understand. Um, but at the very least, if we could at least migrate our money and level over, that would be that would be a, a mighty fine start, I would say. But then, you know, SCS don't officially support uh, mods, do they? So, And they've probably got enough on the plate developing an American truck simulator, so I completely get it. Oh, this is a nice building. We're in Salonta. Salonta. Actually, I'm not going to go this way because... I'll tell you why. I made this mistake with Hungary, actually. I'm going to go the long way around. I can see there's a discovery point because after I make this drop, once I detach that trailer... I have nothing to drive around this city in, so I can't make any discovery points. So it's much better, I think, if I go round that way, go past the discovery point, so at least discover Salonta and whatever it is, a truck dealer or a recruitment agency, and then make the delivery. Because the next job is going to take me somewhere else, most likely. Have a look at the scenery. Yeah, I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. Right, we're off. You have new... You got mail! Do you know what? I think starting in sixth gear might actually be a plan. Thinking about this. Just getting feedback from the transmission here. Even fourth gear is just way too much torque. Uh, it looks like a Renault dealer. A Renault dealer, scumbag. I spit on your Renault. If I, if I could put my head out the window and spit in the direction of their courtyard, <laughs> I would do. Right, left turn coming up. You can actually buy that t-shirt in my store, by the way. <laughs> I spit on your Renault. If you're interested in buying that. <laughs> I've already ordered one. There's a garage, but there's not, not a hope that I can buy it. Way too expensive for me right now. I'm a man of 2,800 euros. However, I want to make this delivery, I'll have a little bit more. How much was it paying? Something like... Let's have a quick look. 5,500. And the best thing, that's 5,500 without any deductions for fuel. I don't pay for fuel. It's kind of nice. Oh, he's letting me out, I think. Okay, dude, alright. I have no flipping friction going on. He's still flashing me. 
captain impatient over there. The Magas Transport. I think it's a left here. I'm getting mail left, right and centre. Seems to be quite popular. Probably just messages off the wife saying what do you want for tea. Hello, what's this truck here then? Nice bit of scenery. Scania. Whoa, that's one of the oldest scanners. Wow, the guy put a Scania in here. That's fantastic. That truck should be in the game. Oh, and low bit. Is that Squirrel Logistics? Is that Squirrel Logistics? Oh, no. No, it's not, is it? Oh. I thought that was a Squirrel Logistics trailer. I think I've got it enabled. I'm surprised I'm, it's not there, actually. Actually, I mustn't have it enabled. It would have replaced that, I think. Can't quite see where the lines are. There's not enough definition in that mirror. It's going to be close-ish. Yeah, that was pretty close. The view out the mirrors isn't just isn't good enough to make a parking properly. Go that way a bit. And then that way. There we go. That'll do. Salonta! Napoca to Salonta. I don't even know how you say that. Cluk? Cluk? Clu? Napoca? Ooh, level one. I'm a newbie. What should I go for? What should I go for? Long distance. Need to be able to get further jobs. What's this all this mail? Brand new Scania truck for sale. Truck dealer Bistrita. Dear sir, we are certified retailer of Scania trucks. Please visit our showroom. The truck you have always dreamt of might be waiting just behind the door. I agree. The problem might be the finance side of it. Just saying. 8,000 euros? Do you think you could buy a Scania for that? Look, I can't even access the bank yet. <laughs> Preferred truck design, Scania R. Yeah. Not a chance. Anyway, that's the first look at the Romanian map mod. Links in the video description if you want to have a go. Don't forget what I said in the video about the zip file that downloads and stuff. And I really hope you enjoyed that first look. I may drive some more. I may even stream some more. If you liked the video, found it interesting, useful, and you just want to support me in general, click like, guys. And uh, until next time, take care and happy trucking.